It has been four years since the horrific death of four-year-old James Dunkley Cruz. As more details came out, more people were charged in the Albuquerque boy's death. The injuries to the little boy are too graphic to show, and the details about how he died are just as terrible. Well, today, one more person found out how much time she will be serving for her role in this terrible crime. Tamara Lopez sat through hours long hearing today. Tamara, at the end of it all, the judge said this was one of the most brutal cases he's ever heard. Yeah, Ryan, that's right. Today in court, prosecutors listed off the injuries found on four-year-old James Dunkley Cruz during his autopsy. The report showed that he suffered from broken bones and cuts, burns, and so much more, totaling 50 injuries. And today, one of the people charged in his death was sentenced. It's almost been four years since the death of James. He's almost been dead longer than he was alive. Thursday, Pamela Esparza, the third suspect charged in the brutal death of four-year-old James Dunkley Cruz, was back in court for sentencing. James died in 2019 after prosecutors say he suffered extensive abuse at the hands of his mother, Krista Cruz, and her friends, Esparza and Zarek Marquez. Marquez was sentenced to life in prison for killing James. I know that Mrs. Esparza isn't the one that killed James. But when you still harm a child and hit them and, and hurt them and let them be abused in front of you, your inaction is action. The state asked for the maximum sentence under Esparza's plea deal, 18 years. Prosecutors say Esparza lied to CYFD and family about James living with them and knew about the abuse, hiding it from everyone. Esparza's lawyer says she was in an abusive relationship with Marquez at the time. I'm asking the court to please take mercy on Mrs. Esparza. And blame CYFD. One thing we could all agree about here is that the system completely and utterly failed James Dunkley. Then Esparza herself spoke. I want to be accountable to my own role as a protector and guardian of James. I want you all to understand that I never meant for this to happen. But it did. I know the passing of James has a ripple effect in my community and in the broader community we live in due to the loss of a precious life. But Judge Stan Whitaker asked where her tears were for James and says she had the power to save him and did nothing. I don't know that in my years of sitting on this period, this kind of carnage, that were her case that's worse than he sentenced her to 13 years in prison and five years probation, saying anything less would be a slap in the face to James. My hope from this is that at least the message to CYFD, and I'm sure they get it a lot, is that things just really have to be different. That maybe more lives of children can be saved with a little bit more robust involvement Esparza will turn herself in next Friday, and James' mom, Krista Cruz, is scheduled to be sentenced in early December. She also took a plea deal and is facing up to 22 years in prison. We'll keep you updated when that happens. Tessa Ryan. Isn't that an understatement? Things have to change. Let's hope the message gets through. Tamara, thanks.